Hello once again, this is Eric with Master Tool Repair. Uh, here at Master Tool Repair we do get uh, quite a few calls on installation of these small belts uh, for the small oil-free compressors. Um, here we have one that's uh, a bit difficult to install, so our uh, rep here, Mike, is going to show you some helpful tips and a really easy method to install this. And uh, here's Mike to show you how. Okay guys, uh, for this example we're going to be using the PJ373 belt. Um, Again, like Eric said, it's it's a tight one. So what we're going to use, a screwdriver. I use a crescent wrench, a 3 millimeter Allen wrench, and a 4 millimeter Allen wrench. Uh, we're going to start with the 4 millimeter. The fan, the screw that goes into the fan, is a reverse thread. Keep that in mind. Uh, you will want to go clockwise to loosen this thing. Okay? And the reason I have the crescent wrench is because I found it a little difficult to get off. So um, you can use the crescent wrench for torque. Uh, if it fit it right on the end, get it as tight as you can, and then use it for torque while pushing down. Go ahead and, uh, you know, knock that thing loose. Um, this fan will come right off. I've, I've taken it off already because, you know, length of the video. We don't want to be on here all day now. <laughs> the uh, screw that's in the bottom of the connecting rod is the 3 millimeter. And again, if you need to use the crescent wrench to break it loose, you can. Uh, just be careful. All right, the method that I use to get the connecting rod off is I like to just pry against the flywheel with my screwdriver. Uh, just go back and forth, back and forth until it comes off. Um, some are probably going to be tighter than others, um, but just keep working it. It'll come off. Okay, and there we go. Want to lay it to the side, turn it, get it out of your way. All right, now the belt. I found the easiest way to do this is to go to the underside, okay? So you want to get the belt under the flywheel. This is the pulley, this is the flywheel, okay? We're going to start this thing around the pulley, okay? I've got it underneath. Then we get it on this side of the flywheel, okay? Then I'm going to start working it around, all right? I want to get my finger right up here on the bottom side, on the belt. Now you want to have this tight. Make sure that you're going to be able to turn this thing. I take the screwdriver because I want to make sure this belt stays on this pulley. So I like to keep the screwdriver underneath the belt without damaging it. So you got to be careful with the tip. Tight here, screwdriver here, and begin to turn. It'll pop. All right, just keep turning. Keep that screwdriver up under there. You want to keep it on the pulley. Keep it on the pulley. Start lifting up. And bam, she's on. Now you've got to work it up onto the pulley a little at a time. One notch at a time. Just keep prying up as you turn. It'll pop right in. Turn it back once it's on the pulley completely. And there you have it. And that was a brand new belt, so it wasn't something that was pre-stretched or anything. So don't think that it was some kind of magic. It was very easy. Goes together just the same way it did. And uh, that's that's how you that's how you put the uh, the belt on. Um, uh, that if you need any more information, make sure you uh, give us a call. Uh, number's right there on the website. Thanks a lot.